people <laughs> champion award thing. Yeah, what, yeah. Uh, I, I didn't understand that. Uh, can you? Uh, you are the one competing in the event. Can you please? Because we we don't know what was that. Can you explain us what is this? Is, what fans voted? The is there storm. money? Involved? What's going on? <laughs> it was the perfect storm for, for me to lose, right? No, oh. um, <laughs> I was like, I, I didn't. No, it, it was supposed to count towards the overall scores, but it didn't. It was, well, I don't see how personally. Look. I don't see how you can captivate an audience that is primarily online watching it from their home to want to engage into buying a plane ticket, buying a hotel, buying a ticket to the Olympia by making that thing possible. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Like majority of the people that comment about the results, you can read what they're saying and you know, they weren't there. You mm -hmm. know, they weren't mm -hmm. you just know they weren't. I mean, mm -hmm. anyone that goes to Olympia, you can see if it's a packed house or it isn't. Mm -hmm. The numbers were down. We know that, but that has no reflection on me. That it was reflection on the business. So of course, as a business move, they probably thought, "Well, shit," and maybe it wasn't. And here's a way of me stepping away from it, not as an athlete. I won't be speaking as an athlete right now. I'm speaking as just a general business person. Mm. Okay, so we so we do this people's champion thing where the fans become one judge. We don't really have a really good way of tabulating these results. <laughs> because they did not do it. I mean, you guys were, you guys saw how it transpired. Yeah. The, 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 everything that was said did not take place. So how did they really, who's fact checking them to say that Ruli was the one that won? Yeah, it was worthless. That's, it, it, was, it, it, it always reminded me of the most muscular award they used to give at the Arnold Classic. I always wondered what the, it always meant, oh, well, that's the guy who's going to get second. That's mm. the guy who's going to get third. Sense. It's a consolation prize. But that thing made sense, though, because, look, if they wanted to do a People's Champ Award without the voting like that, I mean, they hell, they did it for, with Bodybuilding.com for years when they did, when they worked with the Chapman Media Group yeah. producing Olympia, you know, through the stream. They, I mean, hell, I've won People's Choice Awards before. It's just when you mm -hmm. say that there is, things are going to be posted mm -hmm. and they're not, you then need to be proactive and say this is the reason why to the fans so they don't lose confidence in the brand. Mm. So, because people were like, "Wait a minute! I'm over here on my phone trying to vote for you, Phil, and it was it wasn't working." Well, then that means that whoever won, maybe you shouldn't have won the, that award. Mm. But the whole concept, I mean, it would have to be done a lot different. I mean, I be me being an IT guy, I fucking know a lot of things that how that could have been changed. Mm -hmm. um, don't need to ask for any advice or, or any help, but I know that. Was that was a little different? I don't. I mean, props to Rolly Winkler. He won that. But the the way I looked at it, I was like, okay. So generally speaking, Phil, you lost, and the person who won the People's Champ Award that everybody was swearing up and down they knew who was going to win that mm -hmm. did not win that. The person who they were swearing up and down that was going to win the Olympia did not win that. <laughs> yeah, who was this? Well, Sean. Well, no. So, so huh? come on. So Sorry, I'm not, go I got back. lost. I got a bit lost. Who's supposed to win? Who have they been hyping for many years now? But it's not happening. Well, the, just, the guy that you guys fuck with on um, MD boards, the one dude, the who's the, the guy that loves Rami. Oh yeah, <laughs> Alito. Oh Alito. Alito, Alito. If you're listening, yeah, yeah. you're getting trolled, bro. <laughs> by trolled by Phil. You're getting trolled by the champ. He probably talks shit about me, but it's like where did his horse place? So the thing is, is that um, you know, it would be interesting. The, the question I would have is, if Phil Heath wasn't around, would that still be in place? Mm. They did it to spark. And maybe, and this is my whole roundabout about this, is that maybe they did it so that in the event that I did lose, it would create so much hype for next year that they didn't do it to make people go to the Olympia this year. Mm. But do you see they, they the result to make them say, well, fuck it, we're going next year and we're going to have a vote and we're going to be a part of this because taking me away from it, just looking at it as a business, you don't get the movement within a six month period of very little marketing and stuff. You get it through the second. Mm. You know, things don't get done usually when you implement a new rule. It could be in rugby, football, basketball, whatever. The first year it is, it's always friction. It's always like, oh, what the fuck are we doing? And then the next year, is yeah. when everybody comes in. So if I were looking at it from a business, I'd say next year people would, if, if they were going to work 
we would we would see a large amount of people going to the show next year. Now, if that does not happen, then that shit fail. 